Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, we appreciate everybody coming tonight. Uh, it, it's an honor uh, to recognize these men and women that we're going to recognize tonight. Uh, my name is Scott Spencer. I'm the fire chief here in the county. And uh, I would like to uh, introduce Pastor Kevin McCoy, uh, the pastor of Lithia Springs, senior pastor, uh, First Baptist Church, Lithia Springs. And he's going to lead us in our invocation and our pledge of allegiance. Thank you, Chief. As he uh, mentioned, my name is Kevin McCoy. I have the wonderful privilege of being the senior pastor here. And uh, yes, Chief is uh, one of my deacons. He's on the praise team, and he was formerly a member of the personnel committee. So whatever Chief wants, Chief gets, not just with the fire department. You understand what I'm saying? But um, when we, had, uh, we got asked if we would be willing to host this, I was unequivocally, yes, absolutely. So while you're here, you may have the need to use the restrooms. If you go out the doors, hang a right, ladies. There's one really, really close. Guys, you'll have to walk a little bit down the hallway, and there's a ladies and a men's down the hall. And uh, when we dismiss from here in a few moments, you'll be going down the stairs, or if you get on the elevator, mash the L. Mash the yeah. L. Because if you mash the one, the doors will open right back up, and you'll feel like you're stuck in Groundhog Day. Okay, because you won't move. But you'll go to the lower level, to the fellowship hall, and that's where you're going to finish up tonight. We're super excited to have you here. I'm just going to ask if you have your cell phones. I know what you're already thinking. He's going to ask us to silence them. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you to switch it to stun, mute, silent, turn it off, whatever you need to do. But before you turn it off, if you're a Facebook advocate, if you would, just take a moment and check in that you're here. It's not going to do anything other than tell everybody that you attended this wonderful event. That is the 2019 Douglas County Fire Department Employee Red Recognition Celebration, or whatever the screen says. Uh, there is actually an event. Now, not only are you telling your Facebook friends and inner circle that you're here, you're also telling them you're at First Baptist Lithia Springs. Now, I know some of you don't want to tell them, but let me tell you why it's a really good idea. We as a church partner with an organization, it's called Reach Causely, and each month we help just by people checking in. We sponsor different ministry groups, and this month for October, we are partnered with Compassion International. So every six check-ins, now that's if you check in and you check in five people that aren't here, or if you packed a pew tonight, you and six people, that's seven, whatever, Whatever combination of six, or if you just want to check in yourself, each time there's six check-ins, that provides one day of care for a child that's living in poverty through Compassion International. Doesn't cost you a dime. The church has already paid for it. It's just monitored and done off of the number of check-ins. So we certainly appreciate the opportunity to be able to host this tonight, but also do good while we're here. And y'all, y'all are all about doing good, right? It's all about it. That's what you're about. So anyway, I'm going to ask if you would stand with me. I'm going to lead us in a prayer. I want you to remain standing, and then I'm going to lead us in the pledge to the American flag as soon as we finish that prayer. Would you pray with me? Father, we lovingly lift up all of the firefighters of our community and the firefighters around the globe tonight. Fathers, we just think about firefighters. We think about bravery that is beyond comprehension. So Lord, tonight we stand amazed as we realize that these stand daily ready to lay down their lives for sometimes complete strangers. These incredible men and women give their all to protect us. So Lord, we come to you today asking that you would generously shower on them and on their families miraculous blessings of every kind. We also ask that as we honor the many here tonight, that this time would also honor you. And we ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Would you face the American flag? Attention. Salute. Pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Kevin. This program tonight will feature men and women of the Douglas County Fire Department from the past, the present, and the future. Our department was built by men and women who came before us and cast a vision of service for the community. 
They were ordinary citizens that volunteered their time, their energy, and their finances to help protect our communities. The volunteer departments of Lithia Springs, Winston, Billarp, and Fairplay, the Douglas County Fire, from those departments, the Douglas County Fire Department was born. Our department is now 45 years old. Yes, I started when I was 12. <clears throat> Many things have changed over the years. We are now a fully paid department. We not, only, we not only extinguish fires, we provide emergency medical services, hazmat response, and a multitude of other services that we're called upon to do. It is fitting that we honor the men and women who have come before us and have laid the groundwork for our department to become what it is today. As a way to honor each of them and to say thank you for their service to our community, each fire station in the county now has a thin red line flag that is hanging in their station. Their station number is displayed where the uh, field of stars is. You see the Maltese cross, uh, which is a symbol of firefighters throughout the world. And as our members retire, their name will be added to this flag. Uh, tonight, we want to recognize our station number 10, which is in downtown Douglasville. We have several members that have retired from that station with us tonight. And I would ask that as I read their names, if they're present, please stand. Firefighter Jimmy Ball. He's sneaking out back there in the back there. There you go. Division Chief David Earl Brown. Lieutenant Johnny Bice. Firefighter J.D. Calhoun. Firefighter Chris Cannon. Captain Alan Coslow. Captain Larry Davis. Captain David Goolsby, Captain Paul Goolsby, Captain Roy Goolsby, who has passed away, Captain Donald Henry, who has passed, Division Chief Danny Murdoch, Sergeant Michael Richardson, who has passed, Division Chief Mickey Shelton, he'll be the long, tall drink of water in the back. Sergeant Robert Sparks, Division Chief Vic Welch, and Lieutenant Lon Wynn. These men deserve every ounce of applause we can give them. The thin red line is a symbol that firefighters are prepared to defend others from the ravages of fire, even at the cost of their own lives. There are two names that will be on every retirement flag in our department. Those names are Hank Pitts and Paul Holmes. These two heroes lost their lives in the line of duty for the citizens of Douglas County. It is our hope and prayer that we never add another name to this red line. Thank you to those for our, uh, from our past for making us who we are. And now we will move to the present, and I would like to introduce Deputy Chief, Deputy Fire Chief Scott Zeitmeyer. The present. Just as the past is important to us, to remind us of how we got to where we are, is just important to recognize the present. Tonight we recognize and congratulate our department's present members who have committed their time, efforts, talents to make our department one of the best in the state. These men are being recognized for their achievements within our department. They are being promoted in roles, in new roles of responsibility and leadership. It has involved many hours of training, study, and passing numerous tests to quote, make the next step of their career. Tonight we recognize their promotion to the ranks of Sergeant, Lieutenant, and Captain. No one gets through their fire department career by themselves without the love, support, and encouragement from their families and friends, these promotions may not have happened. In our department, we feel it's important not only to recognize the person being promoted, 
but also the family and friends of those who helped them get there. So tonight, each person get promoted to their new rank will be pinned by a person they have selected who have helped them achieve that goal. Unfortunately, unfortunately some of our honorees could not make it tonight, but will still be recognized for their accomplishments. First being recognized is Captain Dan Callen. Uh, he was unable to attend. Second on our list is Lieutenant John Acree. Next is Lieutenant Blake Harper. Next, Lieutenant Brian Harrell. Next, Lieutenant Russell Henry. Next, Lieutenant Joey Neal. Next, Sergeant John Ross Brandt, who was unable to attend tonight. Next, Sergeant Jay Carey. Next, Sergeant Seth Daneman.
Next, Sergeant Chuck Dobbs, who was unable to attend. Next, Sergeant Cole Gasaway. Next, Sergeant Thomas House, who was unable to attend also. Next, Sergeant Jerry Stevens. future, fire and EMS operations are not for the faint of heart and it's a young man's game. Tonight we want to celebrate the young men and women who are the future of our department. In April of 2019, 10 young men and women reported to duty for the first time as a fire recruit. They have undergone eight weeks of intense training, learning the skills needed to extinguish fires, perform EMS duties, how to handle hazardous situations, and how to be part of a firefighting team. They are now the members of our Douglas County Fire Department family. They will spend a third of their life with their brother and sisters, firefighters, living in a firehouse, eating, training, sleeping, and responding to some 18,000 calls a year. They will face many highs and lows in their careers and will depend on each other to get through the hard times and to celebrate the good times. We will now present Douglas County Fire Department Recruit 29-29. 2019-01, Firefighter Keith Brown. Firefighter Spencer Carradine. Firefighter Tyler Cochran, who unfortunately could not be with us today. Firefighter Dusty Davis, who also could not be here today. Firefighter Max D. Edwards.
Firefighter Ian Ferguson. Firefighter Kristen Goforth. Firefighter Charles Jackson. Firefighter Warren Manis, who could not be here today, and then Firefighter Dominic Priel. I'm Daniel North. I'm one of the training lieutenants. I'm the one that these guys spent eight weeks with during their recruit class. Every recruit class, the instructors look for someone who shows the qualities of a leadership, a person who has vision, whether that vision is a problem that has to be fixed or a goal. The drive and the commitment to achieve that vision, the skills to make it happen. This individual also takes the steps necessary to achieve their vision. Some, but not all these traits observed in this, per in this person are, he has integrity, he, he is a people person. He is a positive influence on others. A leader is not a negative person and does not waste time and efforts pointing out what everybody else is doing wrong. A leader must have leadership skills and some of those exhibited are effective communication, motivation, and planning. The bottom line is this, leaders dream dreams. They refuse to let anyone or anything get in the way of achieving those dreams. They are realistic but unrelenting. They are polite but insistent. They are constantly and consistently drive forward to their goals. On behalf of the instructors of the Douglas County Fire EMS Rookie School 2019-01, we, we present this Topper Recruit Award to Max D. Edwards. Our 2019 recruit class. Give me a hand. As firefighters, we take an oath to protect and serve, uh, and now we'll administer that oath to our newest firefighters. So raise your right hand, repeat after me. I solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, the state of Georgia, and the ordinances of Douglas County, Georgia. I also swear or affirm that I shall faithfully perform and discharge the duties 
assigned to me as a firefighter, EMT, paramedic, or officer. Assigned to me as a firefighter, EMT, paramedic, or officer. Of the Douglas County Fire Department. Of the Douglas County Fire Department. To the best of my abilities. To the best of my abilities. Without malice or partiality. And will uphold the rules and regulations of the Douglas County Fire Department. And will uphold the rules and regulations of the Douglas County Fire Department. I further swear or affirm, further swear or affirm that I will represent Douglas County and the Douglas County Fire Department in accordance with the highest professional standards and will perform no act that will bring discredit to its name. So help me God. Congratulations, firefighters. As members of the Douglas County Fire Department, we would like to thank, uh, thank each of you for being here tonight and helping us celebrate the accomplishments of our past, present, and future. Special thanks to administrative staff of the fire department for helping put all this together. Uh, to First Baptist Lithia Springs for this great facility. And to TV, DC TV 23, who's actually filming this for us tonight. Uh, now, I know y'all have all been waiting for this. We're going to go downstairs and have cake and punch and just fellowship. So, again, thank you for being here. Just go out the back doors and downstairs.